What's up, Earth Signs? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon of This Bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. Y'all already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, LaRoseMoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. You must sage the cards for the earth gods, baby. Y'all already know how I do daily motherfucking vibe up in this batch. We're going to get the romance angels. We open up from there. Then the advice cards. A little bit of tarot. Okay, to see what's going on. And also possible outcomes. So here we go. Romance angels. Let's see what we got in store. Spirit, give it to me. For the earth signs. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Uh-oh. So you could be dealing with somebody that you really feeling, honey. Or they really feeling you. Okay, the vibes could be changing day to day, but somebody likes it. Okay. And also trust. Trust this situation is calling for you to have faith. Earth signs. For some of you all, you could have been awaiting someone or someone was awaiting for you. I'm getting just that message. And also retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world with you and your partner, darling. So in the next couple of days, there will be a retreat. Could be going on a date. You could be, you know, just spending some time alone. And also for some of you all, you need to just trust the situation. So let's see what the advice is. We're going to be starting out with trust. Let's find out what's going on with this. Trust. This situation. Uh-oh, we got cards flying already. Trust. Damn, you got two double trust. Look at this shit. Okay, so the universe is giving you signals and signs. Okay. All over. To trust the situation. Okay. It's also saying for you to listen. So trust. Open up, listen, look. There is something that you're needing to pay attention to. Let's see what this um, retreat is all about. Disconnecting from the world. It's daydreams and decisions. Okay, so you might be in this time of reflection. You might be having some decisions and some daydreams. You could be daydreaming. You could be off in another whole parallel universe. Okay. It's also saying your solar plex chakra might need some healing. Okay. Some of you all might need to do some mantras. You might also need to um, fix the way that you view things and your confidence and your self-esteem. Okay. But it's definitely saying that you're daydreaming here. Especially your confidence of your bonds. Okay, strengthening those bonds. Let's see what true love is all about. And I'm curious now. True love, earth signs. Dreams coming true. Oh, shit. Y'all got some good ass cards. So there could be a dream here that's coming true. Could be a new vitality as well with this true love, earth signs. This, look, this is looking good. Some of you all could be feeling like you're in isolation or you're, you know, in the sadness or in this funk or could have been in the funk about someone. But I feel like there is something new coming about. OK, you guys are really using your head. You're using your thoughts. Those informational downloads that give you those source of power and coming into your power. OK, so it's safe for you to trust, retreat and true love. So. Let's see what Tarot has to say, especially about this uh, trust. All right. Virgo Taurus Capricorn, also Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. 
But I feel this is you, something you're going to have to trust with either keeping your options open or making that choice, okay? With all of these options that are ahead of you, this is what you're going to have to trust. Having that variety too, okay, Earth Signs? Um, now, some of you all definitely could be dealing with a uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I have the uh, Wish Fulfillment card, the Nine of Cups. Okay, someone who's um, getting their wish granted here is saying that the universe got you. So, let's see what this um, true love is all about. I'm very curious about this earth signs. Okay, because I did meet a few earth signs. Yes, I did, honey. I met them over the weekends. We have Four of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be chatting with this motherfucker. Y'all could be holding on tight, but you got the four of wand energy here. And also the four of pentacles. So home stability, bringing things together in your home and your stability. Okay, this is something that you guys needed clarity towards. And this true love, baby. So, earth signs. Y'all got me smoking that wacky tobacco, baby. Y'all got some good cards coming in. We got the four of one energy here, the sun card. Okay, I feel like this is kind of leading into that retreat as well. Yeah, you guys are going with the flow, with the full energy here. Not taking things too seriously. Going on that fool's journey with your true love, baby. Some of you guys definitely could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Also, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Definitely prominent here. Um, but I feel like there's some sort of renewal. Or somebody's trying to get you naked with this star energy here. Okay, trying to get you to expose yourself, baby. So, full energy, star Someone is just going about this like nothing is happening. I feel like you're very confident. You're just letting it just all flow, okay? Going with the flow. So let's see what this retreat is all about. Oh, y'all making me smile, Earth signs. Uh-oh. Knight of Wands energy here. So making an action. There could have been some sort of plan of action that happened here. Um, I feel... There could have been a third party situation. Some of you all were withdrawing from, like I said earlier. Definitely could have been a lot of uh, a lot of instability here that you could have been dealing with. Okay, it could have been a money instability, financial instability. Could have been with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, someone who had a love offer, but their finances, you know, and their way that they go about being in a relationship, how they treat others. It's not really right. They could be very demanding here. They could be extremely um, cold as well, detached, but um, not really trying to explain much. But I feel it brings a love opportunity once you guys are able to get away, from, okay, away from the bullshit, away from the instability of this environment. Um, I feel like somebody is trying to make some progress here. They're really trying to make things come into a completion. Okay, so, yeah, I feel like um, for some of you guys with this retreat, this is a rekindle ship or someone who wants to restart a romance. Could be, you know, that offer where you guys are in that retreat that someone wants to bring on commitment. Um, but they're also, like, feeling like they're doing all of the work. So let's see about possible outcomes. I feel like this could be a work-related situation where somebody is just carrying a lot of the weight of the relationship or someone is letting it just be in their hands, okay? Here we go. Possible outcomes. Five of Sword Energy in reverse. Five of Wands in reverse. So someone's trying to drop their guard down. They could be circling right back to your motherfucking ass, okay? <laughs> could have been a lot of scattered thoughts with this person, a lot of people that were in this environment, but someone... Is getting ready to take that lead. Well, that's too many. Hold on. Page of Cups. It might be just a small little offer. Could be having some anxiety or coming out of anxiety. Okay, this came in kind of sideways. Uh, but I feel like um, some of you guys 
have this offer that's coming through. It could be with the Cancer Prize Scorpio. Also, Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy that wants to bring in some sort of commitment. But there could have been um, somebody that felt betrayed here. Okay, they just shut themselves off. These three cards came in together. All right, so I feel with this death energy, the Ace of Swords in reverse, and also the Ten of um, Swords, somebody um, looks to me like they felt the grass was greener on the other side and they didn't step up to the plate, so they turned their back on them. Okay, but I am feeling um, for some, there is going to be forward movement. You got the world energy, the chariots. But be aware of, you know, narcissistic behaviors and narcissistic qualities in people with the Seven of Swords, also Nine of Swords, you know, the victimization, somebody on that flippity-floppity shit. But I feel like a lot of you guys got forward movement happening in the next couple of days, okay? There's going to be something that comes into a full completion that draws forward, forward movement. Um, but some of you all are kind of worried that the truth is going to come out or there's some truth that already has came out about a third party situation. Um, but someone's trying to keep it on the hush. Um, I'm also, I've also got here the three of cups in reverse. Could be, like I said, someone trying to keep their independence, keep things quiet. Um, but they're ready to start some sort of new journey here, a new beginning, star energy, full page of pentacles and the devil. So somebody might be a slave or extremely bonded to their person. They could be going back and forth. You know, these people could be having offers for you or they could be having something that they want to express to you, um, especially with this new beginning. Cancer Price of Scorpio, Knight of Cups, Star Energy here. There is someone who wants to make a move towards you. Okay, it could have been someone that you had some happily ever after with. But I feel like there's an offer. Um, someone's kind of hanging around to bring it in. Uh, they might have a lot of things. It's Taurus energy here, but they might have a lot of things that they're really holding on to and definitely try not to come in so angrily. But I feel um, somebody's pissed, but it turns into a love scenario. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups. So in the end... After this fight or after this battle of these secrets or things that were hidden that have came out, earth signs, there's definitely a love relationship that's coming towards you. Um, but I mean, who doesn't have their battles, you know? Definitely some justice energy here. Could be dealing with a Libra as well. Also Gemini with the lover's energy. But I'm seeing a lot of love coming in. It could be that you're just nurturing yourself. Or it could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that wants to bring in an offer towards you. Okay, so y'all don't have to trust the universe. I love you guys. I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal read from me, make sure that you hit the description box down below and check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.